Okay, so earlier I did the unboxing video of the SPL Lab LCD base meter. Um, there was a few things I really, you know, wasn't happy with. Um, maybe that I wasn't happy with them, but I expected them to be a little bit better. Um, you know, you pay $400 plus for a meter for anything you kind of you know you'll have expectations so I had my expectations and you know I was a little disappointed but as long as this thing works like it says it does I'm cool everything is fine with me um, but here I'm gonna make a little video show you guys exactly what I was talking about what I had issues with so here we go alright so there's the meter here we'll start with the sensor first off I don't know, I'll adjust it a little bit. You see all the waves and the ripples in it. I mean, you know, I know that's just aesthetics, but it means something, you know. You first look at it and you see all that, it's like, you know, did somebody make this in their basement? Um, you can tell the sticker is like big gap on this side, no gap on this side, you know, as far as placement on the actual meter. Um, like I said, it looks almost just like a, a term lab meter. There's the little input jack right there nothing wrong with that the suction cups this kind of bothered me a little bit but I'm an ass if you look at them you see they're, they're by no means are they like even or anything and I know once you put it on the glass that's not going to matter um, they are screwed on looks like they're screwed on and then somebody dabs some silicone in them see that one's got like some silicone in there that one does not because it fell out as soon as I took the meter out of the bag um, biggest thing the hole there's the hole for the the uh, the sensor uh, I mean obviously look at it you know it's kind of I don't really know what to use to cut the hole but they might want to think about using a different tool and the suction cups are in the way let me see if I can hold them back all right so if you look now I'm kind of right on top of it you see the sensor is it's definitely not centered where that hole is cut. Um, hopefully it doesn't uh, hinder any performance out of this thing. Um, I don't know. Well, that's that. Put that over here. All right, the meter. Again, with the decals. Hold it at an angle. You can see all these little bubbles all over it. It just doesn't look professional. Again, big gap over here, no gap over here. It's actually kind of running up on the the inside edge a little bit. But again, it's just aesthetics. You know, it is what it is. Um, this decal. This one, like, I really don't know what happened here. Um, if you notice, there is right here, like right to the top of my finger now, it kind of drops down a little bit and then right here right along here it's it's a ledge you know this the screen is kind of set up a little bit right here and right here and it drops down in the middle the same with the side you can kind of see where it's at I'll run my fingernail along it you see that little space right there so the sticker just kind of runs over top it runs over top where it should be cut off, you know? I mean, you could take a razor blade and just cut it out. It'd probably be just fine. Down here, you would cut cut into the words. You can see what I'm doing with my fingernail there, running it along the edge. But it, I don't know, it's just things like that that would make it look a lot better. You know, a simple thing like that would honestly make it look a lot better, I think. Now, it is big. You know, that's taking up my entire hand. It's not really comfortable to hold. You gotta kinda hold it like this, I guess. You can't really get your hand around the back. Um, it does have this cool little stand on the back. You know, little kickstand thing, so you can set it up. That's, I know y'all see them steelers gloves back there. Don't fucking hate on me. Don't hate on me, you bunch of fags. Anyway, it's also got this little wall hook. I don't really know what you do with that. Um, I guess you could put a screw in your dashboard or something and hang it up. I don't know. Put it in the garage, I suppose, but 
So that's pretty much it. It feels very, very light. It almost seems like there's nothing. Seems like there's nothing in the bottom part of this meter from here down. It just seems empty. I didn't open it up. It does have little security tabs. Um, I don't know. I don't speak Russian, but or whatever language. Um, but it seems kind of, I don't know, just a little cheap. There's the battery compartment. Look, see, one of my things was the batteries. Now, I didn't do this. I just opened it up. The battery compartment didn't really seem very tight. If you see that battery right there, what's it doing already? It's already just kind of like coming out of its spot. You know, it's just not, you know, it's pushed down now. See, there it goes. Um, I don't know. It just seems low quality and I know the, the price is budget friendly so I guess you can only expect so much but again as long as it functions the way it's supposed to I'll stop my bitching so the battery's gonna die on this fucking camera so I need to go ahead and stop this video and I'll start recording again once I get the meter up and running